Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GWF Payback. My name is Dave Easton. I'm alongside Jess West. We are going to take you through the next hour of action, of course, live here from Orlando, Florida. Yeah, here we are for the main card of Payback. We just had the kickoff show. What a kickoff that was. And while we're opening up with one hell of a matchup, here it is for the GWF Intercontinental Championship. Nakamura takes on Tristan Knight. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This has formed into some rivalry over the last couple of weeks. Can Nakamura dethrone the champ? Many people are saying the Intercontinental Championship is a bit of a hot potato at the moment. Can Tristan Knight buck that trend? Yeah, well, like you say, it's the, the title has really been going back and forth over the last couple of weeks. Well, if Tristan Knight picks up a victory here tonight and holds on to that belt, it could, uh, well, could be the start of a bit of a change here for the IC Championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is the challenger from Japan, Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, well, of course, if you remember last week, Samoa Joe managed to get Nakamura a matchup against Tristan Knight. After defeating him on SmackDown, this could be the night for Shinsuke to take the Intercontinental Championship off Tristan Knight here in Orlando. Yeah, there we go, the lights come on, Nakamura emerges from the darkness. And let's see if he can pick up that Intercontinental Championship here tonight. The fans are on their feet. Like he, he, despite what Nakamura does, the fans really do seem to be behind him. Well, Shinsuke has always had that following wherever he's gone. And well, tonight is no different. Orlando, Florida on their feet for Shinsuke and you've got to be thinking this could be Shinsuke's night of course the Intercontinental Championship has been as I seen a hot property for most people could Tristan Knight though defend and retain against Shinsuke tonight yeah if he can hit that end of nights on uh, Shinsuke Nakamura well you really have to think that could be the end of Nakamura here tonight and he will go home with that championship. We will find out. Shinsuke has the crowd pumped here as they need it already. They have been packed in here since before the kickoff show. Yeah. So packed to the rafters. Packed to the rafters. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is the current GWF Intercontinental Champion. Tristan Knight. Yeah, the lone wolf Tristan Knight making his way through that spotlight there. I mean, just look at him. He looks very, very focused here tonight, Dave. Well, this man is never in a good mood. And well, after Finn Balor stopped the attack on Shinsuke on SmackDown, you know this guy is not in the best of moods here tonight. Yeah, he certainly will not be in the best of museum. Maybe that will even fire him up a little bit more and make him a bit more determined to hold on to that Intercontinental Championship as you see he's wearing underneath that coat of his. Yeah, just popping through. Yeah, only just. A, a glimmer of light shining off the, uh, the championship well, there. to be honest, Tristan Knight wouldn't care if any, what, nobody sees it. <laughs> yeah, he really wouldn't. You know, he, he is in here for himself. He's in it for the money. That's what Trist, uh, Tristan Knight said to me in a backstage in interview. Mm hmm um, he really is here just for himself and for the money. He doesn't care about championships. However, obviously, if you're a champion, you do get that extra dollar. You do indeed. Tristan Knight. The spotlight is always on him, he says. But hey, this could be one of his most difficult matches to date. And this, ladies and gentlemen, could just end up being a fight more than a wrestling contest. Yeah, it really could be. If you think the main event's going to be a, well, a bloodbath, like I said earlier, this match, well, you need to look out for this one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Opening contest of Payback is for the GWF Intercontinental Championship. Tristan Knight, of course, defeated Finn Balor for that championship. Big match, John, of course, your referee as always.
Yeah, there we go. Big Rashawn holds that title in the uh, the prestigious GWF Intercontinental Championship days. Well, here we go. And Big Mas John says, let's get this IC Championship match on. And look, look at this, Nakamura off the block. Yeah, float over DDT. And of course, Big Match John will be your official throughout the night as Shinsuke looking for some mission early on here. Maybe this could be his best way of defeating Tristan Knight early by getting that submission locked in. Oh yeah, he needs to possibly go for some missions here. Keep Tristan Knight down on the ground because if he's standing up, he's going to tower over, well, Nakamura because he's, he's not a very tall fellow. No! Um, guys, of course, if you are um, on Twitch, give us your comments tonight. Tell us what you think about the matches tonight. We'll be more than happy to get to your questions as the night continues on. As Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. What a I deadlift powerbomb! Oh, my goodness. Set into the canvas. We can feel that the ring shaking from over here. Yeah, and you've got to see, that was with full force by Tristan Knight. And, well, Shinsuke needs to keep away from the power moves and really needs to try and see if he can outsmart, outmanoeuvre Tristan Knight early on. And yeah, look at this, Nakamura being very, very wise here to keep in Tristan Knight down onto the mat. This is what he needs to do if he wants to win this IC Championship. And, well, Knight wisely rolled to the outside, Nakamura. But Tristan Knight knew exactly what he was doing yeah. there. That gives him the upper hand, Jess. Yeah, and no, this is really what Tristan Knight is good at. He's good at playing kind of mind games with people, knowing what move to do next, you know, knowing how to get one step of your opponent. And that's what Tristan Knight is very, very good at doing as Nakamura gets sent into the barricades. Oh. And, uh oh, this could be very, very Oh my goodness, day. look this at this. Dangerous. Oh, oh my goodness, a boot to the side of the head of Nakamura. And Tristan Knight, well, I was going to say in control, but Nakamura fighting back. Yeah, somehow Nakamura coming back up that stiff knee to the side of Nakamura's head. Oh, well, look at this now. Tristan Knight with a reversal and a lovely clothesline. Yeah, Rainmaker. Oh, Rainmaker, yeah. And of course, tonight, after payback, we are going to have the Warzone draft. And of course, yeah. 12 people have been uh, guaranteed to stay on the brand as a Rainmaker of his own by Shinsuke. And of course, the champions are guaranteed to stay on the brand. So whoever wins this is automatically guaranteed to stay on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. And whoever loses, we just got a comment in, in from the chat. Whoever loses this could potentially head over to Warzone. Yeah, Warzone, our new Wednesday night brand. You do not want to miss it. Kicking off 11 p.m. this Wednesday night. As we'll, we'll tell you more as Trump is sure as luck at this. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, my Baba Bear. goodness. And I think that even knocked Nakamura something out of Shinsuke. Yeah. Nearly did. And now Nakamura could put this, oh, well, you could put him away very, very quickly here. Oh, we've seen oh. this before. There's the suplex. You know what's coming next. Can he set up for it? And let's see what he's going to do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no. I think Tristan Knight knew, knew what was going to happen and did exactly what he had to do. And that was get away from the center of that ring. Yeah, Nakamura not managing to hit his, well, devastating finishing maneuver. And you see the way Tristan Knight was planted there. <laughs> And now, this could be a lot of trouble for Tristan Knight! Uh -oh. Bombay! Cover! The leg. One, two! two. We have a new Intercontinental Champion! For oh, Shinsuke Nakamura, what an ended, really, really dominant performance from Shinsuke Nakamura here tonight, and he is now our new IC Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, a new Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura! What a hard-fought victory there. Nakamura picks up the victory, and, well, Tristan Knight's position here on SmackDown is going to be questioned. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is Mask versus staying on SmackDown. It's as simple as that. Woodward yeah. says if he loses, he's gone. But if Zadlan loses, it's the mask that comes off. We've been waiting for this matchup for many, many weeks now, and it's finally becoming a reality. Will Austin Woodward be leaving SmackDown, or will we be uncovering what is under the mask of Zadlan? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is Austin 
Look at him, the self-proclaimed prince of SmackDown. And would you say that he's mocking Zadland with this outfit? Ah, oh, well, I mean, I guess you... Well, yeah, yeah, you would have to say he was. You would have to say, and this is what he has been doing on Twitter, on Facebook, on Periscope even. He did a live Periscope the other day, Dave. And do you know what he did? Come on, then. He set one of Zadland's hats on fire. That... See, that is one thing you just don't do. You don't want to rile Zadland up any more than you are. And well... Well, Austin, I, think, Austin, I think he's very, very stupid doing I, this. To be honest, I think he's out of his mind. Yeah, he really, really is out of his mind. Absolute stupidity. This Austin Woodward. I don't think he has it. I mean, say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, of course... Is this the last time we will see Austin Woodward in a SmackDown ring? Or is he, as he said, will he become the new phenom? Will he become the one that everyone is scared of when he wins tonight? Oh man, if this guy's ego gets any bigger, he won't have any, he won't be able to even fit in SmackDown. Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, in the Twitch chat, tell us who you think you've got this. Woodward just waits on. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is the Phenom, Zadlan! Here we go, a very, very, well, I don't, I don't want to swear, but a very, very peed off Zadlan here tonight going into this matchup, but that is definitely going to play into the hands of Zadlan. He's going to be very aggressive going into this matchup, and I, I think he's going to catch Austin Woodward off guard. Well, Wood, Woodward may have just lit a fire, so to speak, under Zadlan, who was drafted over from... Raw. We have seen Zadlan attack Woodward on many occasions. Woodward even came out dressed as Zadlan on SmackDown. This, as I say, is getting very, very interesting. Could we possibly see what's under that mask here tonight? I don't know. I, I do we even want to, Dave? Well, as I say, ladies and gentlemen, Zadlan will make Woodward wait and wait, and you know that Zadlan, well, he will take his opportunities when they arise. We've seen it on many occasions, the lights going out, coming back on, Zadlan behind Woodward. Woodward's been choke slammed. he's been, really got out the ring as quick as he could. Yeah. There's nowhere to go tonight. Oh yeah, I mean, also, what he, you know, he talks all of his talk, but when it comes down to it, he's a bit of a coward. The lights are dark, but not for much longer. And... Woodward Up they come. But give Woodward credit, he hasn't left the ring. Yeah, he hasn't left the ring yet. But that might be because Zadlan isn't in there. Well, that is true. I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't be anywhere near that ring. Yeah, not after all the... Uh, well, all the things I've been saying to Zadlan over the past couple of weeks. So here we go. Austin Wood would say, bring it on, and look at that, Zadlan just really, a lot of respect for GWF, really, Zadlan has, you know, he is this big, scary kind of monster, but he has a lot of respect for this business, and I, I really think he's, he thinks that Austin Wood was, is disrespecting GWF as a whole. Yeah, there has been rumours backstage that Zadlan is not happy with the current bunch, seeing that they're egotistic, don't know much about the business. But yeah, look at this, uh, the same thing. This the same thing is, though, Jess, I'm going to have to say this, the same thing is, Zadlan... You don't want to pee Oh my goodness! <laughs> and this is what we thought was going to happen. This early on dominations from Zadlan. Both men start off on the outside here. And this is going to be very, 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 very bad situation for Austin Woodward. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for getting your votes in again. So far, looking at it, Zadlan just has the edge. 54.9 to 45.1. But uh, Zadlan at the moment really dominating and now Woodward can come back in there's that arm taking Zadlan down but Woodward backing off here yeah backing off I think he's a bit scared like this he's a very oh he's going for a weapon the coward but you can't do that it's not it's no it's it's a there is rules in this there's no yeah it's not a dis um, an extreme rules match oh, come on I think Austin is, is trying to look for an easy way out of this by getting the weapon and getting himself disqualified oh, my goodness me 
and again Zedlin. Uh, oh my goodness, into the ring stairs. The ring stairs? Ring stairs? Oh, well, I don't know, yeah. Well, what other anyway. than? Well, no, yeah, they are ring stairs, I guess. Well, look at this, a spotlight on the ramp now, and this match has already spilled all the way through to the uh, the entrance way to the ring. Wait a oh. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a message. Daniel Bryan has said that this is a no disqualification match. He's just changed it. He, no, apparently he, he said, he said to me that he said that he's made it so Woodward cannot escape. Ho oh, oh. ho! Woodward is stuck in there now for sure. Well, it, it, shows, it shows you that that why you may be going for the uh, the, the batters. Oh, a lovely STO takedown. Yeah, well, I guess also, also may have been a bit pre warm beforehand, but it, well, he is for sure going to be leaving this matchup with a couple of bruises, no matter what. But look at this, oh, Woodward, oh my oh. goodness, throws Zadler right into the uh, side of the ring there. And now look at this for the DDT on the exposed outside, very, very thin man out there. Yeah, really, if it barely any matching at all. And just again, also Woodward coming, well, striking his on with a bunch of these DDTs. And you have to feel for Big Match John here, he's just there to pin the count, the, the pinfall, the submission. He can't do anything else. He, he has to let these two just go at it. As Zadlan just works over Woodward on the outside. Yeah, Zadlan back in control. Managing to turn around this matchup. For for a second, Austin might have uh, been dominant in this one. But look at this. Zadlan sends Austin back into the ring. And now it could be. Oh, my goodness me. You, he's, uh -oh. Zadlan is calling for the end already. Already, yeah. Oh, he picks him up. And jump in tombstone oh. pile driver And got the arms crossed one two Good night Austin oh. My goodness <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen Zadlan is your winner and that is the end of Austin Woodward on SmackDown That is what happens ladies and gentlemen when you talk trash for months and months on end on Twitter that is what happens. Goodbye, Austin. See you later. Well, oh, look at this. Woodward has realised what's happened. Well, Woodward Listen is... to the crap singing, Dave. Well, na 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 na. <laughs> ta ta. Ta ta. See you later. And well, Woodward still not very happy. In that is it, it is all over. Austin's career in SmackDown is done and dusted. And look, Zadlan's gone. He's gone, he, he is finished. What he had with Austin Woodward, and he is out of here. Austin Woodward He's made his is gone from SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye, Austin Woodward. And GDW would like to thank uh, Saint PHNX for the official theme of Payback King. You can get it on iTunes or Spotify. Make sure you go and give them the support from the whole of the GW universe. As Jesse would like to thank them so much for their official theme song. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. As Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt take on the new gay this one should be fun yeah here we go for weeks now we've been waiting for this tag team matchup for the smackdown championship and it's finally happening here tonight ladies and gentlemen introducing first the team of chaz and bruce the new gay yeah what a victory will be for chaz and, well, chaz and bruce really starting to up their game over the past couple of weeks wait a minute Speaking of the victory against well, pardon? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that who I think it is? Francis? Francis! Oh, my! Is Francis here to stop Eric Rowan's interference? He or she is finally back. Oh, my goodness me! One of the numbers game is, is now no longer a thing as Francis is at ringside. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Francis is back. The new gate are complete once more. My goodness, mate. This 
has <laughs> just made this very interesting. Well, I'm a very, very happy fella. Francis Yoga's back. Well, things are going to change all of a sudden, though, ladies and gentlemen. Making his way to the ring, being accompanied by Eric Rowan. He is one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Bray Wyatt. Yeah, here comes Bray Wyatt. So Rons will come out just after this. Oh, we saw Hideo Tommy and TJ Perkins coming out separately, and it seemed to work fine for them, so maybe it's a good luck charm for these tag teams. But you've got to remember that a certain Eric Rowan will be at ringside for the tag champs, and he has got involved in both singles matches between these two teams. So you've got to be thinking that Francis is back to help. Yeah, can I, can I just say, uh, Dave, Francis is looking in great shape. Well... That's what Francis Yoga does for you. Yeah, Francis Yoga. But I think there's a uh, Francis Yoga apparel on the GW store as well. From last season. From last season. Make sure you get it now. I'm sure the new range will be up very soon. Yeah, use code payback uh, for 10 percent off. Mm, yes, only until midnight though. Yeah, only until midnight. There we go. I've got a couple hours left. Well, right, we've still wife. got. So many great matches to come tonight, so, of course. Yeah, so many great matches uh, for the main card here tonight. Of course, we've got that huge main event. Samoa Joe taking on AJ Styles for the SmackDown Championship. And of course, and we've, we've got Nia Jackson and Brie Bella. Oh, yeah. Who could forget? And, of course, the Cruiserweight match on after this. But here comes the other half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Seth Rollins. Yeah, here comes Seth Rollins as well. The second half, like you say, of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And, well, there's Eric Rowan coming out with Seth Rollins, which is a bit weird. I would have thought he'd come out with uh, Bray Wyatt. He did. He did. Was... he did come out with Bray Wyatt. Oh. Why did he go... Hold on. That's not... There's something not right here. Yeah. That's a bit weird. Why did he go back? But did you notice he's not behind Seth? He, he went in front of him? Yeah. There is something not right here. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And, of course... Many people have said that Eric Rowan didn't trust Seth Rollins, but uh, that definitely didn't look the case this week on a uh, main event. Yeah, definitely not. And just to clarify, ladies and gentlemen, when we see the discount runs out at midnight, we are talking UK time. Yes, yeah, we are talking UK time. We have to uh, <laughs> search Google or Bing or any other web browser is available. Yes. Just don't go on the dark web. Yes, but really don't go on there. Yeah, don't. It's not a good place. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for your SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Look at them belts, of course. Oh. You've got to be thinking, just a month removed from knocking off Glorious Domination as the longest reigning Tag Team Champion. You've got to think that these two men here now go into this match as the favourites. Does it put more pressure on them, Jess? Well, well, when you've knocked off the longest reigning champions, it is going to put you on that kind of high pedestal above everyone else, and you have a lot to prove as the SmackDown champions. Look at Bray Wyatt. Look at that face. He does not look very happy. And Big Match John says, let's get this match on. Here we go. Here we go. So that is Chaz and Seth Rollins kicking us off here. Look at this already. Chaz with the big backbreak and hanging on. Yeah. Many people have said that Chaz and Bruce do not have a chance. They've seen what happened in singles action. Eric Rowan really just was a big player in both of those matches, helping Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins pick up the win. But look out, Chaz here. What's Chaz looking to do? Oh, oh. big neck breaker off the second rope. And, and already, come on. There's no need for this. Yeah, Eric Rowan already getting up. Francis, looks like he's... I'm not sure what Francis is doing there behind. Is that Bruce? Um, I don't know. I don't know which one's which, Dave. I do apologise. I think, I think it's Bruce outside right now, isn't he? Yes, Bruce is on the other yeah, side. Chaz is, Chaz, Chaz is inside the ring. Chaz is blonde. Bruce has a moustache. There we exactly. go. Exactly. Of course, uh, Bruce is the uncle of Goldberg. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who could forget? Yes. Uh, over on Raw, of course. <laughs> yeah. As, uh, yeah. Big shot here. Look at the float over. 
And a DDT! And I've just bit my tongue. Oh, are you okay, Dave? Yeah. Do you need me to get him to the doctor? Really hurt. <laughs> As a tag in. Oh, it really did hurt. <laughs> oh, Off. man. Oh, here comes Bruce with a kick right oh. into the forehead. Well, you'd not be hearing Seth Rollins laugh after that one. Ha ha ha. What? That was Seth Rollins laughing. Oh, I didn't. We have a very, very sensitive mic. Yeah, it, it, apparently, it, it, even when he breathes, he sometimes does it. <laughs> okay. I know well, Bruce has got Seth Rollins here over in the turnbuckle, and I think he might be looking to send him into it. There we go. Oh my goodness me! Right into the the shoulder in, and oh, this is the 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 flamboyance. Two two. <laughs> and oh! oh! Oh my God! Penis in the face. Yeah, Seth Rollins really just got a mouthful right there. And now Bruce up. Ah, oh, and we've seen oh. this already. Blows a kiss. But this could be the kiss of death. And oh, drop drop kick. Kick. Yeah, you've got to see the new game look very impressive here tonight. Yeah, they are really fired up. Seth Rollins hasn't really had a C in two yet. I'm saying that oh, see, come on <laughs> he's laughing again can someone stop Seth Rollins laughing well he'll definitely be laughing all the way to the bank they would say is if he can win here tonight in oh, between yeah, them championships sure. and here comes the hero of worlds Bray Wyatt and Seth yeah. Rollins nearly kicks Eric Rowan on the way out in comes the muscle of this tag team and look at this Dave watch out Bruce uh oh a divorce court oh. Oh no! This could be a lot of trouble here for the new gay. Wyatt now just wait. No, nice shoulder tackle by Bruce. Yep. You've got to give the credit, Jesse, here to the new gay. They have been in control for most of this match, and here, ah, oh, the gut check. Oh my God, the gut check. But what? Oh, but look at this, Bruce. Oh, he's Bruce, what are you himself. doing? Stop looking into the into that ring post. Finish him off, man! We have a mirror over there or something? Uh, reflections. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. the down was found! There's Eric Rowan again! Ref, take no notice John. of him! Ref, turn around! Big Mass John, come up. Oh, I think he was trying to get rid of the turnbuckle there. Oh, but oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this. Knees into the stomach. But again, Bruce, Chaz and Bruce again have been denied by Eric Rowan. There's a bit of a wiggle! A shake! And how's your rolls? Oh! <laughs> and Ro oh, come on, oh, Murphy! Come on, Four dude. times is ridiculous! Get rid of him, Big Mouse John! My goodness me! Come on, you, Bruce! Wyatt takes advantage of headbutt, and now the big throw right across the ring! Yeah, just a deadlift throw there. Uh oh, Bruce! Oh no! Stay down! No, this. But wait, there! I think Bray Wyatt realised that Bruce was too far away. Yeah, I think he... Oh, just use that veterancy from Bray Wyatt. So realising Bruce was a bit too far away for him oh. to hit that sister oh. Abigail. Stunner! Could Lovely. this be it? Into the cover, hooks the leg. One, two. No, oh. two count only. And you could hear the gasp around the arena. We, they thought they had, we had new tag team champions. What does Francis do it? Oh, okay. Never mind. Francis is getting the crowd up here. Bruce, a little bit angry with himself that he couldn't get the pin there. Bray Wyatt sent into the turnbuckle. Well, let's see if Chaz can possibly get the pin and the victory as he starts the descent. Sorry, the ascent even. Look at this. Oh, rope. my goodness. This could be bad. Here comes the descent. Oh, my goodness. The ring shock. And this, ladies and gentlemen, could be new tag team champions right here. One, two. No, a two count only. My goodness. Oh, Chaz and Bruce, have they had their chance? Has it gone? Look out. Oh, float over by Chaz, beautifully done. German suplex! What a lovely German suplex, and look at how Francis is very, very happy with that one. And now Chaz could possibly look to finish this one once and for all. A wiggle the bum! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! Standing! Moonsault! Oh. We could have new tag champs right here! One, two, two three! They've done Six. it! 
done it! Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt fail to retain the SmackDown Tag Team Championships and the new gay are your new SmackDown cha uh, Tag Team Champions. Oh my goodness me, ladies and gentlemen! We have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions! The team of Chaz and Bruce, the new gay! Who would have thought? Who yeah. would have thought that they would have won it? No, I don't think anyone would have thought it, but I think just that huge confidence boost of having Francis there at ringside maybe got them the victory. And if you notice, Francis not coming into the ring. I think it's just, uh, well, he or she is still a bit sore after their surgery. I imagine to get into the ring, but here we go. Well, go ahead, Dave. Thanks. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, GWF comes your way five times a week. Vote on a Monday, SmackDown is for Tuesday. Warzone, the new show starts this Wednesday night. High Impact on a Thursday with me and Jess. And NXT, the gold brand with Mars Freeway on Saturday night. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, main event will be a web exclusive show. Coming up, it is the GWF Cruiserweight Championship match. Neville, can he defend against Austin Aries? Yeah, here we go, the match that I'm personally the most excited for. The High Flyers over from High Impact coming over to Payback. And they're going to put on a great, great show for you guys here tonight for the GWF Cruiserweight Championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Orlando, Florida has been waiting for this all day long. Because here comes the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries! Oh, here he is, Dave. Here he is. I did want to talk over his uh, his entrance here, but Austin Aries, quite possibly the greatest man that has ever lived. Well, you've got to think, could Austin Aries dethrone the king of the cruiserweights, Neville, here tonight? Well, he definitely thinks he has. And again, um, Austin Aries was earlier on today on our new sponsors, TeamSpeak, of course. Yep talking about what he will do to Neville and how he will change High Impact going forward. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, High Impact this Thursday night, if you have missed the news, eight-man tournament will start to crown the first ever Impact Champion. Wow. <laughs> you do not want to miss that. Mm. Well, of course, on the topic of Team Speaks, Legends with Jess West will actually be uh, hosted on there. Mm-hmm. Coming soon to the GPF Network. Well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the current GWF Cruiserweight Champion, Neville. Yep, here comes Neville. And there he is, the self-proclaimed king of the cruiserweights, Neville. Yeah, all serious. Gone are the days where he's entertained the fans. He says that the fans were the ones that were keeping him down. And now he is the one with the gold. Yeah, well, of course, we've got a uh, young Izzy there at ringside. Possibly what well, could be the last ever uh, Neville fan. Well, Neville mocking the fans as always. The Canaries dethroned the champ here tonight. What a night, ladies and gentlemen, we've had so far. Francis is back. We've got two new champions already. Zadland has beaten Austin yeah. Woodward. Apparently, Austin, Woodward, Austin Woodward's already tweeted saying goodbye. Oh. And, of course, he didn't get any retweets. No retweets. No. What a shame. Oh, there we go. Big match on. Shows us Neri's what he is fighting for here tonight. And now he's going to show us, there it is, the shiny belt that is the Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, there has been rumours going around that a new design may be coming soon. Oh. Of course, Shane McMahon has taken over as the GM of High Impact and has said that changes are on the way. Could that change be Austin Aries as your new Cruiserweight Champ? Yeah, yeah could it? Oh, I guess 
We'll have to, have to see, but early on, Austin Aries in control of this one gets Neville up to the shoulders. Lovely, was a rolling sent on? Is that what this is? Yeah, called? you could say that, definitely. Aries now in control. And look at that, just raking at the fish. Austin Aries is not scared to use dirty tactics to get the job done, and Neville will, might, might see himself outdone here tonight. Yeah, he might, he really might. The the reign of the Circle King, King of the Cruiserweight could soon be over if Austin Aries has his way. Could happen, ladies and gentlemen. And now, stamped down by Aries, who's been in control for most of this match. But can he get the, the advantage? Can he press home the advantage? As a drop kick by Neville sends Aries down right on the knee, Jess. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We've got to be careful because if he damages that knee, it could be all over because he won't be able to go to the top rope. And now, sends Neville into the corner. Well, let's see what Austin's going to do here. Sent into the other corner. It's just toying with him, Jess. You can see yeah. it. Uh, but no, look, Neville coming back now. Oh, big oh, back elbow. Uppercut. Oh, was it, was it a back elbow? Yeah, it was. Yeah, oh, it was an uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Definitely looked like a back elbow. Could be an uppercut. I do apologise. It might have been an uppercut. As a... Yeah. Oh, nice double under hooks and then the big suplex. Yeah, lovely suplex there from Neville. And like I said, Izzy there in the front row. You can see her in her little green jacket. Of course, Neville's biggest fan, of course. Yeah, a long time supporter. Oh, Sparkly Witch! Oh, Sparkly Witch. A lovely, lovely Sparkly Witch. But Neville going to the outside now looking to come back in. Oh, oh and he is... rushes and burns. And as a certain Marky Marks would say, he's missed the storm. Yeah, well, that is what Marky Marks would say. But Austin Aries gets him up onto his shoulders. Oh! Drills Neville into the mat. And it's Aries' turn. This could do it. We could have a new Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, takes oh. him down with a clothesline. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Big match on our position. One. Two. two. No. no. Ooh. How close was that? Very, very close. Milliseconds away. And now, well, this could make it even closer. Austin Aries looking to finish this one. Kicks, oh. kicks him. Disorientating him. And look at this. And there it is. He's Into got the, the submission fridge. locked in. Neville has to tap, surely. No, Neville's got out of it. Wow. Give My. Neville credit for that. I wouldn't have thought that he would have managed to get out of that. And now all of a sudden, Neville has got advantage. And Austin's going to have to come back with some shots. Yeah, Austin coming back, back and forth. Action. Oh, what a lovely net breaker. Now into the cover. No hook of the leg, though. No, only a one. Didn't get that leverage off the leg, which would give him a couple more seconds. And now he's saying that is it. It is time for a new Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, but no, Neville. Oh. Neville was waiting for him. And a suplex. Yeah, the back of Austin's head rattling down on the ropes. All of a sudden, now, oh, no. Corkscrew by Neville, who's in control. He's now deciding to go up top. If he hits this, there's no coming back for Aries. Can he hit the red arrow? Oh, oh. he calls it the black arrow because of his black heart. Two. Goodbye, Austin. Neville retains the Cruiserweight Championship. What a victory for Neville Austin. Coming up short. Not doing enough, unfortunately, to put away... The self-proclaimed king of the cruiserweights, Neville. But I'm sure Neville is very, very happy with himself here tonight, Dave. A victory at payback. Well, all the talk was about Austin Aries winning the title. It's not going to happen. Neville retains the cruiserweight championship. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Brie Bella gets a shot against... Nia Jax. Yeah, here we go. This is the match of I think Brie Bella won't be lasting in for a long time. Like I said on SmackDown, I think she'll only be in this matchup for 1 minute and 30 seconds. So get your timers ready, boys. Well, Orlando, Florida has been waiting patiently all day as, of course, our in-house uh, ring announcer. No one ever tells her a mic's off, bless her. <laughs> yeah, Gillian Larcia. 
And ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring first, she is the challenger. She is Bray Bella. Or Mrs. Brian, as you would like Yeah, or Mrs. Brian, of course. And some have speculated that possibly, uh, well, Daniel Bryan could be given a favours. But of course, we debunked that the other week, Dave, because Paul Heyman was the one who set up this matchup. Mm -hmm. and, but there has been some controversy about uh -oh. this matchup because originally Paul Heyman said it was going to be a no disqualification match. Daniel Bryan convinced Paul Heyman to make it a regular contest. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, definitely trying to look out for his wife there. Because if Nia Jax got hold of any kind of toy or object, I don't think we'd be uh, looking at Brie Bella in the same way anymore. Well, oh, a nice wave and a kiss. <laughs> I think that's the Daniel Bryan, I think. Oh, no, he's up there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the champion. The current SmackDown Women's Champion, Nia. Jax! Yeah, here comes Nia Jax, the GWF Smackdown Women's Champion. One, oh, one hell of a monster of a woman. Very, very dominant force here on Smackdown. Knows how to get it done in the ring, and she will go to all ends to get a victory. And again, another person that really doesn't care what the fans think of her. This mm. girl has really took the Smackdown women's division by the scruff of the neck and not many people have got any anywhere close to her in any of our matches yeah no one really has she's been a huge dominating force as the smackdown women's champion you start to question yourself dave can anybody put this woman away well, brie bella has the chance she's the next challenger and it's coming up next Fans in Orlando, as I said, have been in their seats patiently before the kickoff show tonight. And the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah, there it is. What a lovely, lovely belt. That's what they're fighting for here tonight. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, the Women's Championship has only been held by one woman, and that's that one there, Nia Jax. Yeah. That's what I mean, you know, can anybody stop the reign of Nia Jax, you know? I really don't know if there's anybody who matches up to her, really. Well, we'll find out, of course. As shot, oh my goodness, oh. shot down by Brie Bam. Brie Bam has, has got to do this, she's got to kick, you've got to think, if she's got any chance of winning this, it might be early on here, Jess. Yeah, if she is going to pick up a victory here tonight, it is going to have to be in these early stages of this matchup. Because once Nia Jax gets into the swing of things, there ain't there ain't no t going back for Brie Bella. Oh, look out. Oh my goodness, it's oh. a one drop. Taking the oh. wind out of Brie Bella. I'm just being informed, Dave. Yes? That um, Gillian Mars... Uh, sorry, uh, Gillian Larcia's mic isn't actually off. They just hooked it up to the uh, Mexican commentary table by accident. Ah, oh dear. That's not good. You know, look at this. Nia Jackson's huge uppercut there to the, the chin of Brie Bella. Oh, Dave, look at this. Oh, the power bomb! Brie Bella just broke it in half. That woman has a husband who's a GM. Yes. Which um, definitely doesn't give her any benefits. At the minute, I was going to say it doesn't, but look at this, George Acker. Yeah, lovely George Acker. And Brie Bella in control. Oh my god! Oh my goodness me. Did you see that? I, I didn't, didn't. You're going to be saying that Brie Bella's in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, right across the forehead. Oh, I'm telling her to stay down. Did you, did, you know, the thing is, this Nia Jax impresses me each and every time with her athleticism for being such a big girl. And, but Brie Bella here. Oh, what a backbreaker. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, this might not be good. Oh, into the backbreaker oh, oh. again. And Nia Jax 
is just laughing here, Jess. <laughs> yeah, she really is. She's having an absolute fun time out here. Just really. <gasps> oh! <laughs> So, big match John may want to stop this, you know. Yeah, he might have to. It might be a TKO anytime soon. Oh, the, there's flat. the spine buster. And that only leads to one thing, ladies and gentlemen. The leg drop! Leg drop. Here we go. Good night, Brie Bella. There's the one. There's the two. And Nia Jax has retained. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. A dominating performance here tonight. A payback by Nia Jax. Can anyone stop Nia Jax? Well, I think I was—I think I was right in my prediction of about one minute thirty seconds. I think it was a little bit longer than that, but a great performance for Nia Jax. Very dominant. Brie Bella had a, a little bit of hope, but that was quickly squashed out by Nia Jax as Nia Jax goes home with that SmackDown Women's Championship. Big win again in Nia Jax. Another one ticked off. Who is going to step up? We will have to wait for the weeks to come, but you've got to be thinking. I don't think there'll be many takers. Yeah, well, I don't know who can defeat Nia Jax. Ladies and gentlemen, we are already at our main event. It is for the SmackDown Championship. AJ Styles defends against Samoa Joe. Yeah, here we go. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Ladies and gentlemen, Samoa Joe taking on AJ Styles for the SmackDown Championship. This is where you want to get your bets in. Indeed it is, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, our ring announcer talking to our Spanish announced team for no apparent reason. Uh, the, the Mexican announced team. Mexican, sorry. I do. Well, they, they speak Spanish. Oh, we can't say that. Well, they do. Yeah, I suppose they do. Where ladies the and gentlemen, team? introducing the challenger. He is Samoa. Joe! I thought I'd put my tongue again. Wait, what did you say? I bit my tongue again. You bit... Dave! That's three times to... tonight. <laughs> oh, well, uh... Are you okay? Could you, could you carry yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Beyond? I don't know why I could okay, do well, it. Okay, well, here comes the Joe. Yep. What'd you say again? I said, I, I said, I, I, I don't worry about you. <laughs> okay. Samoa Joe though, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Samoa Joe. I mean, we just saw one larger athlete. And we'll talk about this guy, Samoa Joe. He may look large, but he can pull out some very, very interesting uh, maneuvers. You could class him as a big boy. He is a big boy. Big boy. And we're hoping for a, big, a bit of big boy centom action here tonight. Yeah, yeah, we really are. We do love ourselves. A big boy. The hand goes up. He is ready to challenge AJ Styles. Yeah, and he did. Of course, you'll notice, ladies and gentlemen, that one sec are not out here. They are banned from ringside along with the rest of the club. This will be one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. Oh, you can't tell me the club aren't going to cause some sort of shenanigans, Dave. Well, we'll find out because, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the SmackDown Champion, AJ yeah, here he is, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Really, all night he has been getting prepared for this matchup. This could be a matchup for his career if he loses tonight. Or oh, who knows what is next for AJ Styles. And just remember, ladies and gentlemen, that whoever wins this is still guaranteed to be on SmackDown. If they, they might not be a part of the save. Remember, we'll get into this, of course, right after Payback on our Twitch channel will be the Warzone Draft. So you've got to be thinking, huge, huge matchup for these two individuals. Yeah, it really is. Not only will they become the SmackDown, well, either retain or become the SmackDown champion, but they will also secure themselves a position here on SmackDown and don't have to worry about the draft. I hope you can stay with us, ladies and gentlemen, for the draft. We'll start about five minutes after the end of payback. But for now, settle in. It is time for your main event. Here we go. Crowd on their feet and why not? Yeah, why not? This is could possibly be, well, the main event of the year. Here we go. We've been waiting for this for since Samoa Joe turned up, and now 
we are going in for a classic as of course Lenin Garcia still talking to the uh, the Mexicans of course yep still, still talking to them I'm not sure why maybe uh, she's Mexican she might be as uh, that yes. is Samoa Joe oh. he is well over 300 pounds worth of big boy yeah well well over and there is AJ Styles who we could class as a medium very, boy very, very focused medium boy yeah medium boy why not of course ladies and gentlemen AJ who defeated uh, Sami Zayn to become a two time Smackdown champion is he giving that belt up for the last time tonight though is he going to be handing it over to that man Samoa Joe we will find out it's main event time you can feel the tension in the air, ladies and gentlemen. You could cut it with a knife if knife could cut tension. If it did, yeah, something like that. Here we go. Main event yeah, time. Who yeah, have you job. guys got? Who you got, Jess? Who have you got? Oh, this is, again, a very, very tough, tough question for me here tonight because both these great competitors and have a lot of in-ring ability. But I think I'm going to have to go with... AJ Styles because oh, wow. he is the phenomenal one and I think he might just have the upper hand in this matchup against Samoa Joe if he can play his cards right I know of course who is going to settle in the quickest out of these two Samoa Joe as I said will be looking to get the upper hand early on AJ Styles will be looking to see if he can wear out Samoa Joe but that's going to be easier said than done sure. with a double underhook suplex but look at this, Styles coming back with a snap suplex of his own. And this is what you're going to see, these two really going to try and trade moves and see who can, who can be left standing. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of back and forth action in this matchup. Very equal competitors, a lot of the, the similar in-ring kind of styles. As a rainmaker! Yeah, lovely rainmaker there from Samoa Joe bringing down the SmackDown champion. But the thing is, if Samoa Joe can hit that uh, muscle buster, you know that this one is over. But if AJ Styles can hit that phenomenal forearm, again, the champion will retain here. You can guarantee it. Yeah, you can guarantee indeed that phenomenal forearm does a lot of damage to AJ Styles' his opponents. It keeps him down for the three count almost every time. But look at this, AJ Styles just thought was in trouble, but that arm has surely took a little bit of damage there. But look at that, picks Big Samoa Joe up and drops him for the backbreaker. Yeah, lovely backbreaker there and a lovely elbow bringing, bringing it down to the chest and another one. Lovely secession of elbows now. Look at this, what is AJ looking to do? Goes up to the second rope. And drills the elbow and that's vintage styles. And you've got to be seeing since AJ came across and really duped us all by aligning himself with Gallows and Anderson when really we thought that he was going to be with Draco and Mason Child and of course some more yeah. Joe who who have had um, one sec to back them up you've got to be seeing, you've got to be saying this has been an awesome awesome few weeks for Smackdown and well some more Joe now is he going to look for it no oh. AJ knew what was coming he quickly got out of it and there's a big oh. clothesline that knocks some more Joe right off his feet yeah, and knocks down the big man Samoa Joe, and if AJ can keep this up, he could be retaining this championship. There's a neck breaker. He has got Samoa Joe where he wants. No, Joe comes back with a huge shot into the stomach and a big throw by Ooh. Samoa Joe. Yeah, lovely. I think it was a belly to belly there. As you know, I don't know, Dave. I don't know what it was. I think a throw is probably best suited for that move. Yeah, you threw him out of the ring. Oh yeah, no! Uh -oh. We've seen this back elbow. Oh. Insiguri! Lovely Insiguri to the back of there. Head of AJ Styles. And now Samoa Joe could become the new SmackDown oh, oh, champion. Oh, oh. Big, big boy! boy. What, a, what a big boy! What a big boy! Oh, that's just made my night. <laughs> I think it's made everybody's night. What a huge big boy! And oh, look out! Sparkly Witch! Oh my sparkly goodness! Sparkly Witch! A Sparkly Witch! By some more Joe! Oh my goodness! And look at this! Joe is fired up! He is looking to end this matchup and become the new GWF SmackDown champion. You've AJ. never. AJ is in a lot of trouble here, Jess. Yeah. 
He is in a lot, a lot of trouble. Saying that, a lovely reversal that brings down the over 300 pound man that is Samoa Joe. And look at AJ Styles stalking him. Oh, you've got to uh -oh. be. No way. No way. No, no way. way. Oh, oh the Styles clash. clash. He hit it. It is all Down. over. Thanks Two. for coming. No, no. he kicked out it too. Oh, my God. The crowd is standing. The crowd, are, there's nobody sitting right now, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely DDT spikes the head of AJ Styles into the mat. And now the Dragon Sleeper, but he's too close to the yeah, ropes. Yeah, way too close. And that was a thing that may have saved AJ Styles. And again, this time he's got nowhere to go. He's got a reach. And a big knee Ooh, and a second. A second. Oh my goodness, uh -oh. look at this. These two men back and forth, suplex into the pin! One, two, Kick at it too! My goodness oh. me, and look at this! Samoa Joe, look at him! Samoa Joe has AJ Styles right where he wants him, we thought Styles had this in the bag, but Samoa Joe, look out! Oh. And... Big oh. he hangs on! Holds on! Double underhook, ready for the third! Here it comes. Straight jacket suplex! Got him! One, two! two. Samoa no! Joe's Oh my goodness, he got a shoulder up at 2.8! How did he? AJ Styles manage to do that purely out of adrenaline? AJ Styles manages to hold on, and now look at these, it's a session of punts to the side of the head of AJ Styles. Unbelievable! This is what it means to be the SmackDown champion! These two are putting on a clinic! My goodness, what have we witnessed here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Samoa Joe gets up AJ Styles for that power bomb. Into Gets the it pin. perfectly into the cover. Come on, Big Match John, what are you one, doing? One, two, Kick, no, he's reversed it! Into the Boston! AJ's gonna tap. AJ's gonna oh. tap. No, he's not, he's gonna get out of it. Oh my life! This is unbelievable! What a main event we have, Dave. And look at this, AJ Styles coming back. Drags Big. a lovely arm drag. Yeah, huge one into the corner. And all of a sudden now it's AJ Styles who's got the advantage. Styles up again. Looking for the neck breaker again. There it is. But again, it's still anyone's game here. Shot by AJ. Has Big Samoa Joe down again right across the knee? Styles. Yeah. Now, is he oh, going to no. go for it? Is he going to go for it, Jess? Side. Is this the phenomenal forearm? For the phenomenal but forearm. But is he too Here close? I don't think he it is. Connects. Oh, it connects! It glanced him down. It glanced him, but he hit him right on the back. How did he manage to do that? Oh, my goodness. I thought he overshot it, but he didn't. And Styles. My goodness me, but Samoa Joe still refuses to be put down! But now Samoa Joe coming back! Oh my god, a, a lovely set of slaps there that takes down big AJ Styles. Big boy! What a big boy! A big boy to the stomach of AJ but Styles, but here still, comes AJ. It's still not enough to keep him down! And AJ, this time back in control, kick to the It's back and forth, you cannot! No, which way this is going? You really can't tell, but hang on a minute. We might find after this. He can't do it comes. again. He's gone. He is. He's going to try and get them three ones in again. If he hooks this third one, it's got to be over. That has to be it. If he can get it into He's the got pin it. as well, and he does. Cover. We have a um, new SmackDown two, champion. No. Three, oh. oh my God. How is AJ Goodness. kicking out? Oh my God. I I'm done. This is unbelievable! What a main event we have at Payback. This is why you don't want to miss any of the GDF shows because stuff like this will happen. My goodness. Samoa Joe doesn't know what he has to do because he just does, just keeps fighting back. And now AJ. <laughs> Cover! For the pin. Has he, has he worn out? Has he wanted Samoa Joe? Boom. No, he hasn't. My goodness, the fans can, can hardly contain themselves! <laughs> I 
The fans can not believe it, and I don't think I can believe it either. Oh, nice uh -oh. stop by AJ. Oh, there's the Hurricane Rana. Now, AJ, what are you going to do? Can you put some more jam, some more Joe down for the three count? A third. Gets him up. Gets him up. He's got him. A third neck breaker. And now a dragon. No, he's not. Oh, oh my God! Blood of Sunday! And now, now he still gets some more damage. He, he, maybe he's desperate. AJ is desperate. He can't pin some more Joe, and he knows that he can't do it. But now, to the outside again! AJ's gotta hit this. If he hits this, this is all over for Samoa Joe. Up! Phenomenal yes. throw! Oh, Into the cover, hooks the leg. Cover! To AJ Styles retains the SmackDown Championship! My goodness, what fitness. AJ Styles is going home from payback with the SmackDown Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest and still SmackDown Champion, AJ Styles! Oh, I am out of breath, Dave. Oh, there we go. That was payback. What a night we had here. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, we thank you so much for being a part of tonight's show. Jess, whew, we need a breather. Say goodbye to the fans. Yeah, goodbye fans. Make sure you tune in for Monday Night Raw tomorrow night and Smackdown on Tuesday. And also remember the draft is up next. We're about five minutes away. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Warzone The Draft.